Good morning, Kettle Kids, and welcome to your Wednesday, December 23rd. Today's special day is Festivus. Uh, this is actually a real holiday, guys. Um, if you're on the older end, any of the teachers in the room, you probably realize, or parents if you're watching this at home, uh, that Seinfeld made this famous uh, through their sitcom with the uh, father of Jason Alexander's character being the one to invent this holiday out of frustration for celebrating more traditional holidays like Christmas. Um, but the real truth of it is one of the writers, Dan O'Keefe, his father actually made Festivus, like did it for real. Um, and so the idea of this holiday is you have an aluminum pole instead of a Christmas tree. Um, you decorate that with some lights, and then apparently you're supposed to wrestle with your family until the head of the household is pinned, and then basically just complain to everybody about how much they've disappointed you throughout the year. It's about as backwards a holiday as you can possibly think of, uh, but absolutely made for a fantastic comedy back in the uh, early, late 80s, early 90s when Seinfeld was on the air. Um, if you don't already feel old yet, that will definitely help. But he even wrote a book about it, so if you want to you know, find that and read a little bit about it, it's really kind of an interesting thing. Think about how much uh, the show must have actually uh, depicted some of the reality of some of the writers' lives right there and how kind of tragic that is in its own way. But anyways, Festivus is actually celebrated now and has become a real national holiday. So if you want to put up that aluminum pole, wrestle with the head of your household, feel free, kids. So happy Festivus to the rest of us. Anyway, let's put our hand over our heart, find the flag in the room, and... Please rise for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, well, happy Festivus, and let's talk about food. Today we have a PB&J sandwich along with string cheese, deep dish pizza, tossed salad with dressing, baby carrots with dressing, apple, and milk. Quite the selection going on today. Talking about what's going on with the weather, well, it's kind of all over the map. Right now we are looking at a warm day, high 42, low 39, very slight chance of precipitation, but tomorrow the rain has picked up to be a near definite uh, possibility. High of 52, it is going to feel balmy warm outside for this time of year. So uh, you will not need that heavy coat, but you will need that rain jacket tomorrow um, in through the afternoon, but the temperature will plummet in the evening uh, and around midnight, there will be a deep freeze, bringing us all the way down to the uh, 20s overnight. And that will definitely cause a layer of ice over everything. So prepare anything outside that you need to protect. Um, and then that will transition to some flurries and snow throughout the morning um, off of Thursday into Friday. So your uh, Christmas Eve will be very wet. Your Christmas Day, well, in fact, you might very well get a white Christmas. We're looking at about an inch or so of snow collecting around. Um, and so that will be uh, kind of a nice little change of pace. And we're going to stay cold throughout the, uh, the weekend right there with a slight chance of uh, the sun peeking through a little bit on Sunday. Uh, what does that mean for us for today? Well, it's going to be nice enough outside. We will definitely get a chance to get out on the playground. Very slight chance of rain, nice and warm. Uh, but you still want to make sure you get your uh, hat, gloves, and uh, boots on just because it might still be a little bit mucky out there. Uh, but hey, you get a chance to enjoy those outdoor conditions. So let's end our uh, announcements right before our holiday break here with the Kendall mission statement. The mission of the Kendall Central School District is to provide the knowledge, skills, values, and attitudes needed by students to live responsibly and to compete successfully in today's and tomorrow's world. Well, I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday break. Uh, I'm going to miss you. I hope I get a chance to see you as soon as you come back. And remember to stay colorful, Kendall. <laughs>